It's been a really tough time for everybody, lockdown, and it's been very challenging for us as a family because Derek has been so sick uh, and remains so. Just before lockdown, when all there was fears for all the supplies of food running out, Darcy suddenly said, right, I'm going to grow your own vegetables, so we'll always have vegetables. Then when Derek did get sick, it became a really big thing for us because, you know, he was in hospital, we couldn't visit him. And she just suddenly said, right, well, I'm going to just dig it myself. She's dug up bits of the garden and started planting vegetables. And um, it's been lovely kind of working on it with her together and, and chatting to her about um, dad and chatting to her about her feelings about it. Sometimes when you're doing something else, is when sort of big issues bubble up and you can talk about it more easily. I found myself coming out here and looking at nature and trying to appreciate things and trying to look at things growing and, and there is a real sort of life force about plants and you're doing it not for the next 10 minutes or even the next few days, you're doing it for time to come. So I found that very, very helpful and calming. So uh, Derek's favourite flower are daisies and I really made a massive effort last year to plant loads and loads of daisy type flowers and different styles, um, including some big oxide daisies over my shoulder. And they didn't flower last year because they were the sort of flower that doesn't really flower for the first year and they've come out brilliantly this year. So I keep saying to him when I FaceTime him, your daisies are flowering now, you've got to get better, you've got to get better. Since Derek's been ill and I've been very worried when I wake up, I tend to wake up quite early anyway because of working breakfast TV for so long. Um, and that's my favourite time to be in the garden. It's just a real little oasis of calm. When you're feeling fearful, as I think we all have been during this pandemic for all sorts of different reasons, taking time to sort of focus on the present and be grateful for things is really, really important. So yeah, and meditation um, is a great way of, of trying to allow thoughts to kind of bubble up and allow your body to sort of process them. The garden was definitely the reason why we bought the house. Um, neither Derek or I had had a garden before. Um, obviously when we were kids, our parents did. Uh, we both lived in flats or like with little gardens. So yeah, the whole lawn was covered in brambles. Um, it's still not a perfect lawn by any sense of imagination. It's full of weeds, but we've just tried to clear space and, and also make it a place to play really. So I know that the garden designers would say you shouldn't have huge bits of lawn. You should have focuses in the center and things like that. But actually uh, we just want space to kick a football around and uh, you know do a bit of gymnastics not me i hasten to add the kids i've always loved nature and plants my dad was is a massive gardener i think at one point he had two allotments he used to grow loads of vegetables gardening i think is quite a slow thing which you appreciate more when you're older whereas when you're a kid you just want everything now and if the very latest by tomorrow and i've loved it more and more so i think probably for about the last 10 years is when i've been really passionate about it